are you ready to make this Lone Star Hummingbird? I think I have all my nerves but one in the box, so let's try it. And I have to throw out that Southern Biscuit that I've already done it one time. And I didn't like the way it turned out. And I thought it, I explained it, it was just too confusing. So I scrapped that video and I'm going to start all over again. So you guys hang in there with me and we'll get it done. Okay, so I have a 24 by 24 inch block. Now, I'll say this again, it's much easier to draw this pattern on a 3 by 3 or a 4 by 4, probably even bigger. But for this video, to, so that you guys can see it all at one time, I'm doing it on a 24 inch by 24 inch. And, and it'll work out. It'll be pretty. I've done it on those before. But it's just easier on the bigger blocks. So, for this pattern, we need 20 blocks, horizontally and vertically. So we want a 20 by 20 block. Okay, so you divide 20 into 24, you're going to get 1.2. So you have to figure out where 1.2 is on your ruler. Well, y'all know I cheat. And I looked it up on mani mani Maniacs. <laughs> I hadn't had enough coffee. Maniacs.info. And if you just ask Google, where is 1.2 inches on a ruler, this comes up. So you see my the dot there? That's where 1.2 inches is on a ruler. And that's what I've done. I marked mine, one of them, here it is. I marked it. Can you see that? I marked mine, I don't know if you can see that little mark or not, but I marked it here so you can tell where it is. Alright, and before I start drawing this grid, let me show you something else. If you were doing it on a 3x3, three three, you still need 20 blocks. So divide 20 into 36, and you need your blocks to be at 1.8 inches. And there's the 1.8 if you want to take a screenshot of that. Okay, now I'm not going to be talking about that 3x3 three three anymore because I'll confuse myself. But So we're, we're making our tick marks every 1.2 inches. Now, what I've done is tape this paper down because that was one of the things I was having trouble with when I did the other one. And so I'm trying to avoid my boo-boos from the past. <laughs> All right, so I'm just making a dot at 1.2. Let's see if I can get you in there where you can see this. Hang on a minute. By the way. I'm coming. It's, it's getting in there. Alright. Okay, now. And what I'm doing, instead of... Now, you can do the math. And you can say 1.2 plus 1.2 and get 2.4 and find that on your ruler. And just, if you do this a lot, you might want to do that. But I'm not doing that a lot. So I just made my mark at 1.2. So I'm getting the first tick mark. I'm putting that zero, not the end of the ruler, but the zero right on that tip mark and I'm making another one and then I'm going to keep going all the way around the board 
Now when I get to the end over here, it all works out well. I'll have 20 blocks. So let me go all the way around and then I'll come back. So now we have our tick marks all along our edges and I'm not sure you can see that or not. Now all we have to do is draw our grid. Okay, so we've got our tick marks all the way around our board at 1.2. And one thing I wanted to mention while I was drawing mine on there when I, when I was marking it, it's really important that if, if you're marking your ruler at 1.2, use a really thin uh, way to mark it, like a really fine line marker, because if, if you get it too thick, you can't just put your tick mark right in the middle of that. It's got to be right on the dot. If not, your last block's not going to come out right. It'll either be too big or too little and you have to do it again. And I do it all the time. I, I forget to do that and uh, I have to end up, I don't know if you can see around here or not, but I did it like three times before I got that worked out and I realized what I was doing. So I don't want y'all to have to make the same mistake. So now with our roller, with our, uh, I've got a 20, 24 inch ruler now. But if you had a yardstick, that'd be fine. Well, you know what I'm going to do is take this out. It's going to lay flat. And I won't mess up so bad. So I've got the grid drawn on now. And we're going to start drawing the Lone Star. So I did the grid in black. So I'm hoping you can see it. And I'm going to draw the Lone Star in red and hope that shows up good. So all we need to do, we've got our 20 blocks. And any time that you feel like, okay, here's one section, take a screenshot. And then at some other point, take another screenshot. That way, you can actually have step one, step two, step three, that sort of thing for your pattern. And you could print that out, hopefully. If you take, yeah, if you take a screenshot, you can print it out. But if not, just keep watching the video again. I don't mind that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and subscribe if you like what you see. That, that helps my channel grow a little bit. Well, a lot. Okay, here you go. Let's quit talking about it and do it. All right, we want to count over five blocks from the left. One, two, three, four, five. See? One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to make a tick mark at that fifth one. Then we're going to count up. One, two, three, four, five and make another tick mark right there. And then, th this is gonna be a part of your pattern now. So, I'm drawing over my black marks with this red. Hopefully you can see that. Maybe not. Let me, let me get another red that's gonna be a little bit thicker. Maybe not that one either. Try this one. I want you to be able to see this because if you see me drawing the pattern, then you can do it too. All right, so all we did Counted up five and counted over five. 
or count it over five and then count up five. So we just drew a block, right? That's all we did. And we're going to do the same thing on all four corners. One, two, three, four, five. We can make a tick mark. One, two, three, four, five. Make another tick mark. And then we're just going to See that? I'm going to do the same thing up here at the top. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go over here on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, of course, when you're drawing it on your board, you're going to use like your heat erasable pens or marker or whatever it is you use. I just don't recommend pencil now. All right, so we've got our four blocks. So let's go between these blocks now and count one, two, three, four, five. That tick mark and then up one, two, three, four, five. So there's another one. So, you know, we're right in line. We're parallel with these tops of these blocks and all we're gonna do now is draw one of our star points and we're gonna draw another one now keep in mind I went straight in between can you see that I went right in intersecting with these blocks so that's important to keep that line straight, intersecting between those blocks. All right, we're going to do the same thing again. We're just going to count over one, two, three, four, five, and make a tick mark. That's one, two, three, four, five, right in the middle, and up five. And right in between those lines. Now my marker's kind of thick, so uh, when you're drawing with a thinner marker, you just be very careful to get it in there. All right, here's our, here's the middle. The more you do, the better you get at it. Right in the middle of those lines. And we're gonna do this one. Oh. All right. One, two, three, four, five. We found the middle of that one again. our star. Now there was different ways that you could do that but this is the way I did it. <laughs> it's easier for me to do it this way. Alright so now I'm going to go back into the center. So here's the center of our board. I'm just going to make a tick mark there so you can see that. And all I'm going to do now is just connect these. Connect those two points. Come on. Here and connect these. Now, if you've ever drawn an eight point star before, you could probably go ahead and do it your way. 
but to get your lines going in the right direction, this is the easiest way I found. All right, so now we're going to connect these lines. Keep in mind, we're intersecting each one of our blocks, keeping that ruler straight. So it'll go straight through those blocks. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Got off a little bit, but that's because of this thick marker, I'm sure. All right, now here is how you get those lines on the Lone Star. Once you've got this part done, guess what you could do? You could say, well, I'm not going to draw a Lone Star. I'm just going to draw an eight-point star. And you could make each one of these a different color. And I think they call that a starburst. I'm not sure, but I did one with red and turquoise before, and it had yellow. It's just really pretty. But anyway, this is your eight-point star, and we've got it divided the way we need it to for a lone star. All right, so all we have to do now, watch this magic. You see that line? And you see this one? All we're going to do is connect them. That block and this block and connect them. Drop down a block and connect them. Make sure you're intersecting through there as best you can because that's going to make a difference. I'm trying with this thick pen if I do it any thinner, you guys can't see it, so don't shoot the messenger. Don't do like I do, do like I say do. All right, you see that? We're going to do that to every one of these blocks. This one. Just going down this way. Just drawing our lines. Like I could see it a little bit better going up than down. See that? Now on a two by two, you talking about taping? Woo! That's all right. Alright, we're going to connect these lines. See this this one? Connect to that one. Let's just drop down the block. And you're just intersecting each one of your grid points. Your grid blocks, I mean. There you go. have that on the easel because it kept bending around not getting you all confused I'm gonna just stay instead of just stopping and starting again I'm just gonna leave the video running hope it don't get too long but this way you can just keep watching this Drop down a block, grab that block, the more you see it the better it'll be when you go to do yours.
Okay. There we have it. Now it's just a matter of coloring in these blocks to get that hummingbird. There's just a couple of places that you have to like go through a block and dissect it a little bit, but that's not much. So let's let's get the corners, the points of our Lone Star done first. I like to do that because it just kind of makes my eyes focus in on the middle and it's not as hard to see where you put your different colors to make the hummingbird. So for our points, I got this one over here that I didn't like the way it turned out. But I'm using that one to kind of go by right now. So, you see these, your points on the end. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm getting crazy over here. I'm going to go get another cup of coffee. All right. This is one point. And it's a di diagonal. And I'm gonna try to I'm trying to color this in purple. That's what I used. And I'm trying to use crayons so that y'all can see it. You know I could paint it, but it it just takes too long for you to watch me paint. So you do the first block purple and the second two blocks will be purple. See that? Now let's do one more. The first block is purple. And the second two blocks. See, it goes up one, two, three, four. So we're doing the first, first block and then the next two in purple. Let's, we're going to do these two blocks and then and then we're going to do I'm thinking a minute here okay watch this I'm going to do this so that I can reference these points and you guys will know where I'm at, okay? So this is block one. This is two, three, four, five. This is gonna be six, seven, and eight. So we've got eight points. Now when I say block point four, you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyway, we've got the first and second one done. And we're going to do the same thing to three, four. Well, actually, we're going to do the same thing to all these points. One and two. We'll get purple. Now you can use whatever colors you want to. But th these are the colors that worked out better for me. Just All right, here you go. There's one and two. Let me get that lazy Susan back out of here. What 
I'm afraid of if I keep switching it around, you won't know where I am. So that's why I'm, I numbered those. So there's three, and we're going to do four. First block, and then the second blocks. I'm going to go all the way around and do the other ones. Now that we've got the first three blocks in each one of our points done, the next color and the next thing that we need to do is magenta. Would it help you if I showed you the colors that I actually used? Let's see. So here was the purple, and now I'm using magenta. So let me get those out here. So it was purple prints and magenta. That's the first two. So the magenta needs to be the next three blocks. If you've never done one of these before, you know, you kind of have to get your mind on it, but you can actually see it. Once you do one, you can see the two. Now you can actually see the three blocks. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, and three, and four the same way. But on number five, we're going to do it different. So hang on a minute. So we've got one, two, three, and four. And you can you can barely see that color, I know. But on point five, we're gonna do it different. We are just going to paint two blocks. This one is going to be white. Now, you know, when I put this white on there, you're not going to be able to see it. But just mark that white. All right, then on six, seven, and eight, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to paint the three blocks magenta. So there you go. And we're going to need, I think we're through with magenta. 
All right, now the next four blocks is going to be turquoise. And I used, actually, yeah, I used, uh, I used intense teal right here for these blocks. But you could use turquoise if you wanted to. But I used intense teal. And I actually did not have a crayon that was intense teal. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna color this in and turquoise and then you guys and decide what color you like the best. So it's these, the next four blocks is turquoise. And that is not even showing up. That's not showing up, y'all. Give me a second. All right, I actually found a marker that was more of a teal color. So I had already put that crayon over here and it just wouldn't, it wouldn't come out right. It wouldn't color over it. So on one, two, three, and four, seven and eight, we're gonna do these three. Now, on this particular step, points five and six are different. So, let me get this on here. And then we'll come back to five and six. you guys figured out um, where your blocks were coming from look down at number well let's look at two I think you can see that better or three let's just look at three all right we drew our grid lines right here's our grid lines going across here and then we drew our lines connecting these blocks. So this actually, this grid line and that, well this grid line, and then when we connected those lines, that made our block. And that's what we're coloring in, these blocks. So your grid line, in some cases, is part of your block. You see that? And that's why when you're when you're drawing it on your board, it would be very helpful if you had one color for your grid line and one color when you're drawing your uh, actual pattern. It would just kind of keep, keep your eyes straight. But anyway, that, that's our block. And that's how we're getting these blocks. Probably should have told you that to start with. But hopefully you're watching the whole entire video before you start drawing yours. I know I would have to, especially if I'm the one explaining it. All right. Now, let's look at number five. You know, on number five, we had the first three blocks, then we had two magentas, and now we're going to have the next two as our turquoise or teal. And then on number six, 
this first one is going to be teal. I'm trying to stretch to get over there because I don't want to mess you up. And then this one is white. And then we're going to color in the next two with our teal or paint. You're going to be painting. Okay, see that? Now that's the teal. And we're finished with that. Now we need yellow. And I'm hoping my yellow crayon's going to show up. If not, I got two other yellows over here. I'll, I'll grab. Okay, so for the yellow, it's going to be one, two, three, four, seven, and eight is going to be the same. So here's. One, and we're going to do five blocks now. Alright, you see those five blocks? We're going to do these five blocks. So actually, these two yellows are together. Y'all get a whole bunch of junk text. I do. I broke that crayon. Done that in school all the time, didn't y'all? Okay, we've got that five. We're going to do the next five. All right. Now I'm going to do four, seven, and eight. And I'll come back and show you what we're going to do different on five and six. So you see what we're doing here. Each time we color in one of these blocks, we're making our pattern. All the blocks are the same. You know, like I said, with the exception of just a couple of them that we're going to split. All right, so... With the yellow, it was one, two, three, four, seven, and eight, and number five and six are different. And let me show you that. It's just the yellow will go here in this block and connect with this block. And The block right underneath your teal on both sides. There you go. Now we're finished with the yellow. Now here we go. Get your nerves all in one box. Get you some coffee. Take a snapshot of that.
Let's start drawing that hummingbird. So you remember, I'm going to pull you down here so you can focus right in here. This is where the majority of our birds going to be. So on number five, you know, we left that one white. So we're going to drop down here. This one is going to be pink. And I know you can't hardly really tell the difference between that pink and that magenta, can you? Do I have a brighter pink? Look here. <laughs> I don't know if you like that or not. But that's pink. You can tell it. <laughs> Alright, so we got that one pink. And the next one's going to be pink. Maybe I should use highlighters instead of... That's more like what the paint's going to look like, isn't it? Well, the next pattern may just be all highlighters. I'm just trying to get it to where you guys can see it. All right, so you got these two blocks are pink, and the this one right below that first one. That's going to be pink, like a bright, happy pink. All right, then... We need red. So red goes here. This block will be red. Y'all take screenshots anytime you need to. The only other way I could have done that is mark these with like a, a Y or a one, two, three. I have seen people do that. So if that would be easier for you, just let me know. But I'm just so visual. I like seeing it done. Alright, so this one's red. And one more, this one. Let's go back to our, hmm, we had a lavender. Let's use lavender next, sort of a light, a light purple. And I used, let me show you what I did with the red too. My yellow was chickadee. My red was whiplash. And my lavender was unimaginable. But if you've got purple, put a little white in a little cup and stir it up and you'll have a pretty lavender color. I'm not sure how this one's gonna look. That looks more purple and lavender. Um, well, let 
me use this. It's a purple one. Well, let me do it real light. Maybe it'll come out. You'll know that it's supposed to be lavender. So it's like right under this red. The next two. And the next one underneath that red. So you've got four lavender right here. But now we've got one more that we need to do. So let's do them all, all the colors at one time. So drop down to your third, your third point. And this might be a weird way to get to this block, but I'm going to show you anyway. Third point, you're going to go to the corner here, right into the corner, and count over four. No, 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 no. Race that. Race that out of your brain. Count up four, the, the teal color, and say one, two, three, four. And that fourth one is going to be lavender. See this? So there's the corner of three. One, two, three, four, where the teal is, and count one, two, three, four, and that's your lavender. All right. Now, we need purple, and our purple is going to be five, five blocks here. So, here's our purple. Right underneath, not that one, but underneath the other, lavender. And above that lavender. Now if you wanted to, instead of counting up here and finding that one, you could just wait till you colored those in and then paint that one. But I, when I'm painting, I like to try to get all the same colors um, taped off at one time. All right, so our next purple is right beside of this lavender. See that? You might want to screenshot that one. All right, now we need to go back up to the top of five. Now remember this one was white. Uh, let me, here you go. This one was white. This one is going to be a really dark blue. And I've got a dark blue crayon, but don't know if it'll look good or not. The other ones haven't. Well, okay. This is dark blue. <laughs> Looks more like a... I don't know, like a... I don't know what color that is, but it's supposed to be dark blue. And then we need to go over to number six. All right, remember this one was white. So the next block over underneath that teal is gonna be our dark blue.
this 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 is sort of like an oil crying crayon I found over there in the drawer. I'm not so sure. And that's gonna work, but this one is dark blue. So you have your two. This is the white one, and the next two here are dark blue. This one and these two are dark blue. So you, can, you can also see that purple and lavender. Might want to screenshot that right in the middle of this too so you can have it to kind of go by. Okay. Uh, the next one needs to be a light blue and an even darker blue. Let me find those. So for our next one, we need a light blue. And it's going to go right underneath that turquoise and near the dark, uh, the dark blue. And we need the next one that's going to be that same color. Now we're working at number up in up five now, remember. Okay. And the next one. So we've got three in a row that's going to be our light blue. And here's where we're going to split one. And I'm going to do that in this, uh, where'd my red pen go? Did I throw it over here? I'll do it in this black. All right. See the one we just did here? This next one, we're going to divide it in half. This this block here, we're dividing it in half. We're just going from that point to that point and dividing it in half. You see that? And we're going to go back to our blue crayon and we're going to color in, well, we're going to paint, I'm coloring now instead of painting. All right, <laughs> we're going to paint that blue and this one blue. You guys might want to make you a pattern before you start. I did. So the next two on number six, number six, the next two are going to be our light blue. hanging in there with me. This one is yellow as well. I, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't color that one in a while ago, but that's going to be yellow. Alright, now for our light blue, we're still working on that. This one and this one will be light blue. You know, I guess 
If this is too confusing for you guys, then I'm doing it this way. I wonder if I drew the Lone Star and then numbered each one of these blocks. And I could say number 40 and 50 are blue or something like that. If that if this doesn't work, I can try it again. You let me know. But I think I don't think you'd be a beginner trying to do this. So I, I think most of you guys will know what I'm doing and be able to follow it along. Alright, so then we have these three and this one will be our light one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. And I've got another one over here, a half of one that will be light blue, but I think, I think I'm going to wait on that one because it's a half of one and it'll be easier to see where that, uh, how that goes once I get some of these other colors in here. So we're going to come back to that one. All right, so now we need a very, very dark blue. Um, almost a navy color. Because this is the wingspan, and so we're kind of zeroing in on some darker colors for his body. So, okay, here's the one that we split. The next one over, that block here, will be navy blue. This one will be navy blue. And this one. So you've got two here and two here. So you've got four of the very navy right here. So now let's go back to our light color blue. Oh, I forgot the right crayon. All right, so you see this little section here? It's divided. Let's see. It's divided by the grid line. What we want to do here is, and not use the grid line, but go over about, about a half inch or so and connect it. And then, that's not the right color. What did I do with that crayon? Did y'all see what I did with it? How could something get going? It was just right here at me. Well, this is going to be light blue. Maybe I see it. That's light blue. 
So we split this one in half and we angled that one a little bit. It doesn't have to be real perfect. It just needs to be angled. All right. The next thing we're kind of getting into his body now. And we need a really dark green, almost black. And I use um, did I tell y'all what color I used for that blue? I used Precious Sapphire. I used Mega Blue. And deep space like that that's my very dark blue and then deep space and mega blue and that that's how I got these colors now y'all know my crayons are not the right shades but it will give you it will tell you what you need to do that's what I'm doing here is just showing you the pattern. All right, so for my green, I used Favorite Green, which when it dries, it's a really, really dark green. So the closest color crayon that I could get to that is this one. So these four points, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, is all going to be this dark green. See that? One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Now we're still drawing his body. So that's that's part of when his wings start coming off of his body. So now we need to do I think about those numbers the more I think that might work out I'm not doing this again <laughs> I mean I'll do it again I'll do it again if this don't work let's just keep let's just keep trying here all right now we've got this part of his body now right here at this one we're going to do another one of those splits this this one underneath that last green one we're gonna split it all right 
that's this part right here that we just did. All right, now we're still working on the, we're working on his tail now. So what we need to do here is one more split. And we're just gonna go from here From here to here, and it's almost following that grid line, not quite. It's just a little bit different. But if you wanted to follow the grid line, it's not going to really mess it up that bad. You see what I did? I just went at the very top of that point and went down. And that just gave it a little bit different angle than what the grid line would have given it. Got that one. This one. All right. That's not right. I'm sorry. It just, this two by two is a little bit wackier. You see why I made that? It's supposed to have went down this way. This. This is supposed to be another color green. I'm not sure that I can get that erased enough. You need to take another snapshot. It's lighting up a little bit. There you go. Alright. So it's this one. Make sure you mark that. It, from here down is the way we want to divide that. So this little triangle here is going to be divided in half. And then this block is a medium color green. And I have that someplace too. Alright, so we're working. Sorry. We're working right in here now. We've got our dark green in here. Now this is medium green and we're going to do it next. So that's where that should have been. 40 year old crayons not lasting. I had to give them up I guess. All right, so this one, unless that was the uh, medium green, so I wanted to do that one, oops, so you could see what I was doing. So this whole section here is that medium green. Now we're going to take our light green. And here, this section that we cut off is going to be a light green color. And we're going to go back up here.
and half of this, see that grid line here? So half of this one's gonna be, are y'all in there? You see that grid line? We're, we're not coloring that part of this block. We're just coloring the top half. Painting the top half. And this block and this block. This one, we're going back to our medium green. And we're just painting the top of that block, that medium green. Not that part, but the top part. going to go over here and this block and this block this whole thing is going to be the medium green and this block Now here is where, if you wanted to make it a red, um, no, a ruby-throated hummingbird, you could color that one in red. Now see, I didn't do that, but you could. All right, now let's draw his head. So again, I'm going to use the that black pen. Now this top part here, that grid line here is part of his head. And so we're just going to go from here to cut it in about a fourth of the way on that part and so a fourth of the way here back to that other corner and then we're going to come in about a fourth of the way on this block so that way his head's kind of at an angle for you you see that and then i i colored in his head with this dark purple I mean, I painted, I painted his head with the dark purple. All right, now let's get back out again. So you see what we have? Okay. I know these colors are not showing up very well. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure how to fix that. I hope this is going to turn out right. Alright, four. Let's put his little face, his little beak on here. Alright, we want the beak to come down to about the middle of this block. So I'm putting putting a mark here and I'm putting a mark here. So I'm, this is where I want his beat to come down to. And then I'll go 
here. I'm drawing the line again. Then I, what I did, this dark green that I had, that's the one that I used to paint his beak with. Now you can use a brown or whatever, but I just I just went over top of that teal and yellow when I was painting mine. So, this is my second attempt to draw one out for you. You can take a snapshot of that. And I don't know that it would help, but the first thing I did did not turn out. Oh, oh, before I forget, before I forget. These that we left are white. They are white. See, that, this, this, and all around here, that's white. So take a s s screenshot of this one. And... I don't really, I don't know whether to show you this first one or not. It didn't look up here. This is the first one. And I did not like the way that turned out. But you may be able to see the colors better on it than you did this one. So take a screenshot of that one too, just so you'll have two for a reference. And don't look at that. <laughs> don't look at my mess. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can get this video uploaded. And I appreciate your patience and I hope it turns out all right. If you still need help, then let me know, or if you think those, the numbers, after you've seen this video, if you think me numbering these blocks would help you, I can do that too. I don't mind. I've got a couple other ones that people are wanting me to do, so I may have to wait on this one a little bit, but... You know what? It won't take that long for me to number these. I'm going to add it on to this video. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Y'all hang on a minute. Well, turns out the lighter colors worked out better. Because now I've got all of it numbered and coded. And you can take a screenshot of that and print it out. And if I had used the darker colors, you couldn't have seen my numbering. So here you go. So take you a screenshot of that. I'm not sure I can get it any closer without losing some of it. But here's the codes down here. And all the white, I've numbered 14. So you're going to have 14 different colors on here. And so take a couple of screenshots of, of that. And you know what? You may want that to start with. Kind of keep that in mind when you start painting. But here is the finished, with the picture of the one that I finished. 
so you can kind of get an idea what I mean by very dark green, medium green, and bright green. That's these colors in here. And I used favorite green. Favorite green, luscious green, and lime passion. That was my brighter one. And for my pink, I used California wine. I used California wine or cherry brandy. Either one would be pretty. Just some kind of a happy looking pink color. And then I used heirloom red for my red. And I think I already told you purple prints and unimaginable for my lavender. And I've already told you what color blues I had. And for the white, I used ultra white. And now for the for the outside border, again, now if you've if you've drawn this with those heat erasable pens, you just take a wet paper towel and wipe all that off and it'll go away. And then you could paint it whatever background color you want. If you want it to white, that'd be okay. I like the limousine leather black it just makes the whole entire thing show up better I think but it's just your preference so I hope you subscribe and I hope you click the bell for notifications and I hope I hadn't confused you too much and I hope this helps because this is a beautiful pattern and also, I've got one, I think I showed you on one video, I'm not sure, but it's this long star pattern, but it's got an eagle in the middle of it, instead of a hummingbird. And we'll do that one too, that's a pretty one. We'll do that in a couple down the road here. <laughs> Let's get this one under our belt first, right? Can you see it good? All right, see y'all in the next video. Have fun. Happy painting.